To empty and vent the electrohydraulic suspension, first connect the battery charger, and then the diagnostic system. If you are working on the front axle, put the front wheels in straight position beforehand. This step is not necessary when working on the rear axle. Lift the vehicle with the vehicle lift. Remove the cover from the wishbone. It is fastened with four screws. Now you can remove the cover flaps from the shutoff valves and remove the dust caps from the drain valves. To empty the electrohydraulic suspension, follow the instructions of the diagnostic system. Tap on the Active Suspension and Damping System field. Then click on Electrohydraulic Control Unit rear left. Tap on the Actuation tab. In the following section, click on Electrohydraulic Control Unit. Then select the appropriate shock absorber, in our case at the rear left. Click Actuation again, and then on Empty Hydraulic Unit EHSE. Important, close the shutoff valves now at the latest, otherwise the suspension will be destroyed in the next steps. Please note the specified torque. Tap on Next. Here you can read the current actual values of the system. Use appropriate protective equipment for the next steps. Attach the filling unity to the vehicle. Then connect the return hose to one of the two drain valves. The pressure then drops immediately. Also connect the reflux hose to the other drain valve. Tap on Next. The system is now successfully emptied. Now, click on Fill Hydraulic Unit EHSE and click again on Next. Now, connect both hoses to both drain valves. The assignment does not matter. Click Next and then start the filling routine. Now, switch on the filling unity. The rinsing and filling process starts automatically. Now, you can remove the return hose from the valve. The device must remain switched on. Then, also pull off the feed hose. The device must now be switched off. After removing the hoses, a pressure of approximately 40 bar must be reached. If that's the case, go to Next. Important, now open both shutoff valves again. After opening the shutoff valves, a pressure of approximately 29 bar must be reached. If the value is correct, you have successfully refilled the suspension.